In this video, we will continue with sigma notation. You will find this on page 64 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Write each theory using sigma notation. So basically, they are going to give you the theory and you are going to write the theory in terms of sigma notation. Okay. Now, if you look at this one, you can say they are adding 4 every time. So it's an AP. So I'm going to, I first determine that it's an AP. The value of A is 5 and the dip, common difference is 4. Then I use the TN formula. Now, what is the TN formula? It's that A plus D bracket N minus 1. Then I substitute. In the place of A, I put 5. Um, I can make it a bit bigger. Sorry. I think now it's better. So I put 5, I put 4, and I just simplify. And that, that, I'm going to write there. And now, I know that the last term is 33. Now, there's more. You can have actually just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, there are, eight, there are 8 terms. But say they make dot, 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 and then the last term. How will you find that? Then you will just go, and you will say, again, 33 equals 4n plus, so I just use that formula to find that value of n. And I get the value of n is 8, so there's 8, then n is 1, and there's the formula. Okay. This one, it looks like a GP, but test it first. This divide this, this divide this. So what do I get? I get that the value of r is negative a third. The value of a is 1. So basically, I'm just going to substitute it in the TN formula, like I did there, and there is my formula. If I can actually just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and say 6, but if I want to see that last term, I just fill it in, and the formula, I just work it out, and 5 is equivalent to N minus 1, and then N is 6, and I put the 6 there. Not very difficult. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, let's just see, I want you to do number one, let's start very easy, A, and then two, um, I just want to, let's make it two C, that, that you can do. Again, stop the video, try it yourself, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start with number 1a. 26 plus 23, oh, let's just see, plus 20, plus 17, plus 14, plus 11, plus 8, plus 5. Okay, so I can already see they subtract 3 every time, but you can test it by saying, uh, let's see, T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2. So that will give me, okay, remember, this is T1, T2, T3. So it's going to give me uh, 23 minus 26, that's negative 3, and 20 minus 23, that's negative 3. So therefore, a, P, um, and the value of D, D is equal to negative 3, and the value of A is 26. Okay, now first let's get the general. So the general of A, P is A plus D bracket N minus 1. So in the place of A, I put 26. In the place of D, negative 3, and keep the N minus 1. So I simplify 26 minus 3N plus 3, so it's going to be 29, so 29 minus 3n. Okay, so that is going to be my general formula. Now, let's go on. If that is my general formula, then I'm just going to put it there. I can just count the terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically, I could have just said, there is my... 
uh, then it, it's going to be 29 minus 3n, sometimes good to put it in bracket, and n starts at 1, and n can go up to 8. Otherwise, can I just show you, if you also want to find that 8, can I just show, I want to show you, say for example, then you just take that last term, 5, and you take this simplify, and then you're going to get 5 minus 29, is equal to negative 3n. <laughs> so this is going to be negative 24. So therefore, n is equal to 8. And that is where you got that 8 also. Okay, easy. Let's do the next one. Number 2c. Now, in C, it's 3 plus 1 plus a third plus 1, 2, 3 plus 1. Okay, this is a nice one because now I have to work it out. Okay, I can already see this is not the AP. So, 1 divided 3 or uh, 1 third divided 1. So, I can see the value of R is 1 third. But you can see it by T2 divided T1. Or T3 divide T2. Don't forget, this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3. So basically, I could have just get 1 divided by 3, or it was 1 third divide 1, which is also a third. So therefore, GP and R is equal to a third, and A is equal to 3. Now, don't forget your general formula. So it's A, R, N minus 1. So in the place of A, I will put 3. In the place of R, it's a third. And it's N minus 1. Okay, I don't think I can basically simplify this further. But what I can do is I must find this position. This is not good because now I cannot count. So I'm going to just see it... Um, 1 over 81 is equal to 3, a third, n minus 1. Now, I divide 3, isolate first this, divide 3. So, if I say 1, divide, no, 1 ABC, 81, divide 3 equals. So, oh, I'm just going to move it up. It's going to be 1 over 2, 4, 3 equals a third, n minus 1. Now, always take that and take it to prime factors. So, 2, 4, 3. Okay, 3 can then divide. So, 2, 4, 3. I divide 3. And I get 81. I divide 3. And I get 27. I divide 3. And I get 9. I divide 3. And I get 3. Divide 3 and I get 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So if I'm going to take that to 5, so it's going to be... Uh, it's, it's actually 1 over 3 to the power of 5. Okay, let me just put that step in and explain that. Okay, let's just move it up. So, but actually, this can also be written as 1 over 3, 5, because anything 1 to the power of 5 stays 1. Because I'm trying to get the basis the same. Do you see that? So, I'm getting that 5 is equal to n minus 1. So, therefore, n is equal to 6. Okay. And if I know that that is going to be 6. So, therefore, there's my sigma. Oh, I just have to move it a little bit. And then I write that formula down. What was the formula? There's my formula. 3, 1 over 3 n minus 1. Now, if there's an n, you start n is equal to 1, and then you just put that 6, and that is your final answer.